This is a fifth scale uh, force perspective test that we had done, mainly to kind of see if we could prove a concept that would work in a live situation. It was early on in uh, Jurassic Park 3, we were trying to figure out ways to get certain scenes into the film. These testing phases serve two things. They, they allow the director to see things that were working out beforehand on video so that they're prepared and also it builds the confidence level of all the puppeteers and technicians that are going to go on set that day and do it. So you're not ever doing this on the, on the, uh, on the moment in front of camera. You have to have this worked out. It's, it's very expensive to film a movie and when you show up on set you, you need to know what you're doing and be able to deliver your mm -hmm. part. We have to be able to provide the assistant directors with quite accurate information in terms of how long it's going to take to set up, how long it's going to take to perform so they can schedule their day. So a lot of that information comes from these rehearsals. Every character that we build, every puppet, every animatronic is like building a Stradivarius violin or a Steinway piano. No matter how brilliant that piano is or that violin is, if you don't learn how to play it, it's going to be a clunker and it's going to sound horrible. So we create all of these wonderful puppets. The whole concept is then being able to perform, and that requires hours and hours of performance, rehearsal, learning how to work the machine and be able to actually get a performance out of these prototypes.